Hey guys, this is SCV Spaceburb. Today I'll be casting a game from the Inter Tyson Clan Tournament. So we're gonna have Pienter Kak, who's my personal mentor of the game, playing against Creo Silva on the other side. It's a Terran versus Terran, uh, red versus green. Uh, I know that uh, Creo really likes APM. I'm gonna see if he's gonna actually APM spam. Uh, yeah, he's he's not actually APM spamming normally as he does. He normally has around 400. There we go. That's a lot better. We can see all these clicks a minute. He's just playing his keyboard up. There we go. So we, would, we do see that he's really for his APM. His game style, I do not know. He joined the clan about a day previous to the tournament. So I do not actually know what it is. What he plays as. But I do know that uh, Kak is a really good player. I think they're actually both in the Platinum League, so we, d we will see some really good gameplay. We do see his, uh, the use of hotkeys here from both players. Of course, Creo being the APM spammer will have to use more hotkeys to keep his APM up. So we do have 317 APM. If we go to income, actually Kak is ahead. He did have a bit earlier start, but it's not no big deal so far. We don't see any scouting going on right now. Uh, and I think to contradict it, uh, actually, this is a scout coming in now. So we we do see that Creo is not well enough. It's a really good against Terrans because uh, that building will not be able to get sniped. However, Kak is uh, going for the wall, so he has this supply depot and the barracks and the scout. So we do see he's scouting. He checked one of the towers. He didn't check the other tower, but he is going to scout Creo out and see this racks. Maybe even Supply Depot in the background. So we will see that. Uh, Kak is actually going for uh, gas as well. So while uh, Creo is a bit behind, he doesn't have uh, his gas coming, but we do have Kak with the gas. I'm not sure of any of the players' real gameplay, so I don't really know what to expect. If I go to. There we go, we do see this SCV is actually in. Uh, I think he's he's not actually on patrol, so Kak has to try to micro him. He could just put him on patrol around until the first marine comes out. He's not actually doing it though. But he did see the barracks and he did see the supply depot, so... And the command center. The command center at 6019 is a basic uh, opener for Terran. We do see this uh, gas as well. Later on then, Kag's gas. Kag already has 56 gas and his first marine to kill off that SCV a lot faster. This tech lab is coming out, so we might see some reapers slash murders. Because we don't see the second racks coming in for marines. But we do see that the, he... I don't know if Kak actually seen the supply depot. Uh, if I go to there, no, he didn't see that supply depot. But he did see this racks. He did see the gas as well. So both players done their scouting. They know what's going on. Uh, we do see this uh, second racks, and we do see that this low marine is coming to try to attack. I suppose. Or just to control no he's just controlling the tower it's a really good play so he knows when the attack is coming there are two marines out right now with the second racks coming in for creo silver right now and if we go to production we do see that creo is going for a second gas uh, i don't know why i don't know why he's going for the second gas we do see that cac is uh, going for this factory and the racks so we might see some standard um, marine murder tank build here I don't think we will see anything more fancy than that. And on the other side, we also see Factory getting in for Creo. When I first Creo after the uh, after that, uh, a few a few weeks later, I did play uh, Creo Silver myself, and I did uh, get attacked by Banshees. So we might see some Banshees coming from Creo. We do see this first murder for Cac. A few two uh, two more Marines coming out as well. No research, however, he doesn't go for the concussive shells. I don't know why, it's only 50 50 and it does make them so much more powerful. Although, I suppose against the. against the shooting units, it doesn't do that much of a difference. Well, he actually snipe this command center, we'll see now. He does have this marine here just running and he didn't put him on attack move. Bad micro in. But he's not actually trying to snipe them either, so. He just run right past the expansion. Nope, he is trying to kill that SCV. This SCV is going to die. Boom! There we go. You can see the remains of the SCV here. And this low marine should just destroy this. There's uh, a lot of marines though, so they will have to uh, pull back. 
this Marder trying to I don't I don't know what he's trying to do with him. Uh, he didn't just try to fall back. The Marder's are faster anyway, so uh, we will probably see this Marder going down. This is really bad micro win by uh, Kak here, but he has another three Marines, so we might see some. I don't know. I don't know. Two v two. There's another one coming in. Yeah. So we did see that Kaka did actually win the shot on force, and this expansion is stop. There is no more SCVs working on it. I don't see any SCVs getting pulled off the line to build the river. So uh, Kak on the other side is not making this expansion just yet. He did make this command open battle commands that pretty late. Uh, I suppose. I didn't even see it getting built. I did see one mil. So I suppose it was at uh, twenty six supply. I think the open commands that came in. If we go to players, they both go in for the, the tech uh, for siege tanks. So we do see this uh, siege tank with the siege tank research for uh, red with the painter cack. Painter cack actually finishes research before getting a second tank. He has one tank, he can actually siege as well. And Creo is going for the starport, but he also has the siege tank and the tech lab coming in place. He's trying to turtle because we do see this uh, bunker here. Uh, coming in and we do see those four marines getting into the bunker. Unfortunately, we do know that these tanks can actually just snipe them well, I don't know what he's up to. We do see another few marines coming in So we do see that he has uh, really uh, pretty decent macro in skills because he is still making He has uh, two tanks lined up here and this orbital, uh, orbital command center for now coming in, in In his natural. He's not going for any more funky builds they call them. He's not going for any further on. He's just going for the easiest to defend for his natural. He could just make one, two, like three tanks and he, that's defended. But we do see that this uh, starport, well he's not making the tech lab so I don't know if it's going for batteries or whatever. But we do see that this tech, this starport has been copied, it is not getting used and yes it is right now building a reactor. So we got these two tanks in here. And we do have this tank here from Kag just stopping their their expansion. He's actually building a command center inside his own base, trying to fly it off somewhere. But of course, this is off limits to him, so we have to go for another another option. If we go to income tab. It's pretty. It's actually even. 25 out of 25. So both players got 25 uh, harvesters. And Kag actually has just a bit more energy. He actually has two orbital command centers. Just this one just completed. And uh, throwing down the mule straight away somewhere. The mule actually went down here. Or did he No, excuse me, he actually went for a scan. And the other command center went for the mule. So we did see the mule here just exploded somewhere. But we did see that uh, Kag did go for the scout to see what's going on. He will see those Vikings. Uh, siege tanks plus Vikings, really good combinations because these siege tanks can shoot further than they can see. So if you have a Viking hovering around here, He's probably out of range of the marines, but uh, this allowed the siege tanks to shoot just a bit more. Oh, that must have hurt. Three tanks. Uh, we do see this, uh, uh, that this tank is still out of range. We do see one, two, three tanks and this viking, which will allow them to see the range. They see those tanks. They do have the range. I'm not sure why ain't the marines doing anything. He could have sniped it then. Uh, we do see that this tank is actually coming to go a bit lower. And that was just a bit too low. This tank is going to go down. Yep, bye bye tank. But this tank is also has all three tanks in range. He does need to push those marines up to take it out. He's actually DCs the tanks. I don't know what he's doing here. Bad play by Kak. He's just trying to move them out instead of trying to push up. Alright, alright. He did move them out. So only one died. One for one. And his own Vikings did come in play. So... There we go. One of the... Really don't know what's happening with him. He's not microing at all. He just lets him run. He has another tank coming in. And he has two starports. One with a reactor and one without. He doesn't really have the mineral though. His income is at uh, 35. So he does have the, the mineral advantage. This command center is not. didn't actually lift off here. I was thinking he was going to lift that up here or here. But he's just living it in his base. Don't know why. There you go, these tanks are getting moved. This is actually not siege just yet. Will we see them actually going down? There you go. All three tanks actually got sniped, so if he pushes in right now, he could possibly win the game.
but he's just standing outside his base trying to macro a bit more of an army. So he does have these three Vikings and right now he's making he's making just three more Vikings. He's not making out of these barracks. 